Hey everyone and welcome. I'm going to do some mixed media on this background and we're going to launch it from there. So I'm just using the stencil from the June Kidaholic kits and I'm just using just texture base and my spatula. I'm just going to put a like section across the page. I'm not going to go um, boxy or anything. I sort of just want it to be a bit of free form and um, have some sort of like curved edges as such rather than having full words and being all blocky so I hope you can see a bit of what I'm doing I did move the stencil up when I moved it across to this side so that the words weren't the same um, it's really just a little detail and not entirely necessary but something I just thought I'd do and then I am just adding a little bit of section here in the middle down the bottom and then up the top as well just to um, make sure it was the shape that I was looking for sort of like um, you know just taking up that middle of the page in a um, random but not you know I wanted to make it look random as such not purposefully blocky or anything like that anyway so I've sprayed some water down on the mix on the texture base I've dried it I'm just adding my spray straight to the packaging adding a bit more water and then smushing it down on the paper adding some water here to make it flow a bit and I don't want it to go too far on the outside of where the texture paste is I want it to be concentrated to that area um, I want the top and the bottom to have white space. I did get a bit of overspray, so I'm just using a baby wipe here to wipe it up. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit more on, and that way I can see what it was. Um, so you can see here, I'm just sprinkling it down. And then I'm just moving some of it around on the paper. Just trying to get a few um, spots that are a bit different in the tone of the colour, like concentrate of that colour and having it um, have that little look of... I um, don't even know what I'm saying. Sorry, just got a little bit distracted. My son was taking his temperature. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here it's all modelled and... It's not all even across that area. I didn't want it to look exactly the same in all that space. So I'm just going to add some speckles, some ink splatters here on the outside, just really close to the edges. I don't want to muck around. Now I've got these three little photos here, the same little, you know, moment in time. And I've just used my, um, I've collaged them before I printed them and then I've cut them apart so that I could add them in this little randomy kind of effect. And I take forever, I cut it a lot out. I use this really thick washi here, which holds it, holds it really well, but I just couldn't get it in the spots that I wanted. I don't know what I was looking for. I was looking for that random, but not, um, you know, it looks like I haven't done it like that, but I wanted it purposely in a way that looked the right way. So anyway, so I'm going to work out. I'm going to put it right there in the middle. First, I'm going to add some of the water splats and let that... Um, soap up some color for a minute or two use my paper towel to soap up that color and that just gives it a more of a modeled effect it's like um, you know adding more effect to that background and you can see how concentrated in that area it is and those photos look really nice so I do matte them you can see here I pull it all off because I go eh, that's not what I wanted I was starting I wanted a, a just a a blue background, a blue, you know, monochronic, monochronic, I always say it wrong, you know what I'm saying, um, layout, and then I went wild with the papers and then pulled that off, but I will use that on the next layout, so I'm just having a little play with these bits and pieces, so I've only got the main kit this month, and um, just for a little challenge, and it is a little challenge indeed, because I'm used to having millions and millions of embellishments and goodies to play with, so I'm, I'm struggling a little, but I, I've made some good layouts so far, I think. So I'm using these photo corners here. I'm going to use one at the top. I do have one in the bottom right corner, but I pull that out because that's where my main cluster is going to go. I set it on the word today as my title, and I really love this circle here, this yellow circle. 
and think I'm just going to use it as a base for that um, embellishment cluster but I end up using the words as well and bringing in that yellow a bit more than I originally thought. So I'm just going through, you can see I've got my really useful box next to me and I've got this little section that's got the words in it and then there's a bigger section with the icons and and all the goodness is all sorted out so easy to choose what I want when I want it. So I'm pulling out some of these blue and um, black hearts just so I can have them put on the layout as I'm going. And I get to the point where I'm going to stick them on because part of it I'm like, yep, this is what I'm, you know, how's it looking? And then others, other bits I'm just like, yep, done. I found this beautiful epoxy camera and that's in that Sunny Days collection sticker pack and that colour just looks so nice. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put on my things now and you'll see how it all comes together. So I'm just going to stick the photo corner. I did want to put it on the top and then I realised I'm not going to put that one down the bottom and I wondered if this one needed to go underneath the photo and I think it looks much better that way. Photo corners are not something I've used I don't think before so that was a, a nice little addition in this kit something different and challenging. So here we go I'm going to add in this B um, Hello Weekend and I think it's just nice the yellow pops really nicely off the blue. So on the word today goes and I'm going to add in those leaves just to build out that cluster. They are outside walking. It's funny the photo on the left is um, my son and his friend we were walking him home and they're you know arms around each other talking and then they hear that I'm taking photos and then they put their they start to hide under the jumper so that they're um, unrecognizable in the photos so instead I've got this little um, cute little montage of photos that tell a cute little story so that was a funny little coincidence so you can see here I put my camera up on fun foam I stupidly put the um, not fun foam foam tape I put it on top of the plastic backing and had to then take it off take the plastic backing off and then put it on the camera I'm going to put another word up under here under this epoxy word sticker just cutting down that little white sticker so that it was not as big as the rest. I wanted it to be smaller so that it could go underneath and nestle in there rather than be the same. Adding some of silver stars, even though there's gold in the today word, I don't think it's so um, in your face that it won't be a problem. I think the silver works really nicely in this collection, but I want to keep adding some of that. I'll try to add some words here. I succeed in putting that one there and then I pick another one and pull out my tiny attacher I just staple one on like staple one edge one because I can't get the tiny attacher in the middle there without opening and and you know self adhesive self closing the staple and I just was not in the mood for mucking around with that so I'm pulling out my pen I'm going to do some journaling here underneath the cluster here I don't entirely like that it's sitting there in the end um, normally I'd put it under the word today but really um, after the end of it I'm like oh, I should have just not put it on there at all or hidden it or something I'm not too sure but to me it's just I don't know if it's by writing or what it just didn't feel right today anyway I'm just using my nozzle and I'm adding some bigger splatters just um, slowly <coughs> And that way they get a bit bigger and in the spots that I want them. Let's just add a bit of different um, tone again to the layout. Just using my paper towel to dry it up. It's because I couldn't be bothered waiting for it to dry. Like I last month I discovered that if you, um, even if you use your heat gun or if you wait for it to dry, um, the colours of like stay that way. So if I wanted that really deep tone of these dots and if I'd use my heat gun or let it dry, um, air dry it would have stayed that way now I pull them using the paper towel here it, they're still a, a tad different color but they blend in a lot easier because I'm taking off a lot of that ink so I'm just going to add a few more um, things I realized it needed some of the yellow on the left hand side so I pulled out a yellow heart and adding another silver star and I think I pull out an, another blue heart and put it up there and that's going to be my layout. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed that and you feel inspired to, to create something with your own kits. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.